Are carbs making you fat? Carbs is actually a short word for carbohydrates. Carbohydrates just comes for foods like potatoes, uh, rice, whole grains, pastas, etc. Even sweets. Are carbohydrates making you fat? Well, carbohydrates or carbs is actually another form of energy we call calories. Calories is a process of converting it into energy, which can make you gain or lose body weight or also maintain. That's the food that you eat, the food that you eat on a daily basis, like meat, vegetables, or even snacks. That is a calorie. And on the nutrition label, you see the macros for those calories that make it up. Fiber is also included. Depending on what you're doing, alcohol is included. Alcohol is its own thing, own macronutrient. So carbohydrates, where carbohydrates land is, it's pretty much is the form of energy that you expand and expel. Do you need to survive on carbohydrate? The answer is no. Throughout human history, we didn't have a lot of carbohydrates or carbs to go around. It was very rare to stumble a berry bush or to grow our own produce, produce than just raising meat or eating meat. Fats are more centered in carbohydrates. Carbohydrates is good performing enhancing macronutrients for us, but we do not need carbohydrates. So why do people think carbohydrates make us fat or carbs? Well, because it's simple. The reason why they think it's making fat because carbohydrates or carbs is associated to these type of foods. People don't realize these foods could make you fat. It is not the food necessarily the food itself, but it's the calories and the macronutrients and the carbs that is addicting to you once we spike our glucose or our blood levels then we want more and more of that pacific 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 um dessert so let's say for example you eat ice cream it has a lot of carbohydrates but the carbohydrates is mostly represent the sugar sugar is sugar necessarily making you fat yes and no it depends how much you will overeat on that carbohydrate. So now you see that it's not necessarily the carbohydrate, but it's the one that's making you typically overeat. So let's say um, another example, cake. We all love a piece of cake. If instead of having one piece of cake, you have more piece of cake. So that's why you're overconsuming. Carbs are not necessarily bad for you. If you're making good healthy carb decisions throughout your period of time and having a protein source with you like a veg like a produce like a meat steak eggs etc ham can work pork sausage whatever a protein can help blunt your glucose levels or your blood sugar to not over eat on carbohydrates so if you're diabetic this can work as well just because you're diabetic doesn't mean you have to stop eating carbohydrates it's very simple make healthier carb choices so you can balance out the negative unhealthy carb choices so what i would do is if i really want that piece of cake let's say i'm a diabetic i want a piece of cake i can eat it but my blood sugar will probably go up or down i'll probably eat something that's more higher in protein to look to blood in the glucose level to go more up in my insulin spiking so I would probably eat um, a protein source like steak or chicken before the cake or I would do it like this I would eat the cake first so I don't overeat or more cake afterwards so I eat that one slice of cake enjoy it then eat the protein and car eat the protein and the produce etc to blood in my glucose level the next thing you can do is actually walk so you can burn energy and also lower your glucose level. Carbs is mostly associated with diabetics and I believe that people hate carbs and demonize carbs because of just doctors saying carbs are bad in the past or other people are just communicating keto is the best because of this and that. I want to say this, carbs, carbs are not bad for you if you can't, if you're not going to overeat on carbohydrates, which is carbs. If you're not going to overeat on carbohydrates like su sugary pastries, for example, then it's so perfectly fine to eat those certain things if you're not going to overeat. So it's still okay for you to eat that cake, that pop tart. If you're diabetic or not, it's still okay, but it's also not okay to overeat. That's why people demonize carbs because it's easier to overeat. Carbohydrates is only really specifically towards higher calorie pastries.
that's what you see in it like the pastry that the dough makes that's carbs and usually it's a lot of sugar in these pastries so once your glucose spikes even diabetic or not you want more of it because it tastes really good now you see carbohydrates are not typically bad for you no it's a myth it is not bad for you but what's bad for you is over consuming on these things so if you're a higher weight individual like 200 250 300 pounds it's not necessarily the food or well, is the food but it's not necessarily the carbohydrates that are bad and you need to like get rid of it is the over consuming of those calories and carbs of an in sugar as well so it just depends what you do really um I would suggest maybe you should take a break on carbs. Try it out. If you don't, if you still want carbs, then just lower the calories that you're eating. Try to find your maintenance calories. Try to make better food decisions. You don't have to necessarily track, but you could make better food quality decisions overall to eat those carbohydrates that you really love. So, the last question: How? Why do I lose weight so much doing keto, paleo, etc. when I'm just eating more carbs? Well, carbs. Each gram of carbs her holds gr three grams of water. About that. So once you go on like a meat diet that is very low carbs, let's say my carbs for a maintenance level were 200 grams of carbs, and I put it all the way down to 50, all the way down to 20. Of course, I will lose about four pounds of water, five pounds of water. It's not necessarily fat, but it's water weight. That is not fat. It's like bulking. <laughs> when you gain five pounds on a scale, that could be waste. That could be urine, and that could be water weight. You have to put a lot of factors into it. It's not just fat. So yes, keto can work not just because of uh, dieting, losing fat, building muscle because of the protein, but also the mental qualities. So maybe feel better because you have less carbs. I know when I go off carbs, I feel way better, way better because I'm not consistently spiking my insulin, good or bad carbs. So yeah, you also keep that in mind. So maybe it's the mental side of it. Maybe it's the physical activity you can perform better without carbs. You don't know for sure if you don't try it. So we finally, in the end of this video, are carbohydrates are bad for you and are they making you fat? The answer is no. It's just dependable of how, what type of carbs you choose. So uh, sweet carbs versus unhealthy unhealthy food versus healthy carbohydrates if you overeat on the healthy carbohydrates on calorie wise of course you will gain body fat of course you have this and that if you under eat if you, if you overeat on the healthier carbohydrates it'll be hard to gain body fat because the calorie won't add up to begin a um, surplus it would be harder for you to eat five potatoes instead of eating five pieces of cakes so no carbohydrates don't make you fat it's whatever you can easily over consume that's making you fat that's today's end of the video i hope this video was very educational and informative if you really like these type of videos and these videos like content creative side of nutrition etc please contact below in the comments below to give me some video ideas um, if this was helpful show this to your friend and try check out my youtube shorts